What's going on everybody, Mike McIntyre here back from All Things Sports bringing you a brand new video and I thought I'd kick off 2022 with a bike review. Now this is my personal bike, I've had it for a while, but I thought it would be nice to show you guys a little bit about this bike, give you a review, we'll weigh it, we'll tell you all about the components on it because this is also a 2022 model. This dropped for 2021, this is a 2021 frame, but because of the whole bike industry and the demand and the shortage and all of that stuff that's going on, the bike hasn't changed for 2022, so it's the exact same thing. So this is effectively a 2022 Trek to Money. It is an aluminum frame, it's the AL3 model, so I'll tell you all about the components and why I chose this particular bike as my first road bike, and in part why I think it could be one of the best first road bikes that you can go for. Let's get into this brand new review. This is my personal road bike. I picked this up a year and a half ago now. I've had two seasons with it. Well, really a season and a half. I've done 8,000 kilometers on this bike, so I know it well. I know how it feels, and I know a little bit about the components now, and I think it's a good time to review this bike. And again, because it's a 2022 model as well, nothing's changed, maybe I can tell you a little bit about this road bike if you're looking to get into the sport for yourself. So. We'll take you through the road bike, we'll take you through all the components, and that way we can kind of show you around the bike and you know give you an in-depth look at this 2022 Trek Domani. So, the Domani is a little bit more of that endurance style kind of road bike. They've designed it in 2021 to have disc brakes, really wide tire clearance. It ships with 32 millimeter tires, just to give you an idea of kind of the versatility that they're aiming for. Plenty of mounts, I have two bottle cages here. There is a top tube mount as well as one under the down tube down there. So plenty of mounts, you can mount a pannier rack, you can have fork mounts, you can have all kinds of stuff. I kind of went with the Damani, given that it was my first road bike, I wanted something that might be a little bit more forgiving and a little less aggressive in terms of out and out race performance. Just because I was getting into the sport, I was a beginner, and I don't know if I wanted to be hunched over, you know, low and long kind of positioning on this out and out race bike if I don't know that much about the sport and what my kind of tastes are and that kind of stuff. So I figured the Damani would be a nice compromise to get into the sport. You could still ride it quickly. You could still make it fast, but it would be just a little bit more forgiving and a little bit more friendly in terms of a brand new beginner getting into the sport. And I still think that that mentality, that thought process was a, was a good one. I think it was a good choice for getting into the sport. Now that I've done so many kilometers, I've done 8,000 kilometers, I kind of know what my tastes are. I kind of know how I like to ride the bike. And if I were to upgrade, which I'll tell you a little bit about in a second, I kind of know what I would go for if I were to upgrade. I bought this bike in particular because it fit my budget. It wasn't gonna break the bank. And I had every intention of upgrading further down the line if, you know, if I really got into the sport, which I did. So I didn't break the bank on my first road bike and it allowed me to get into the sport. I've done plenty of kilometers on it and I'm still going to do more kilometers on it, but I do kind of know what I want to look for when I upgrade. So that was kind of the thought process as well. I don't want to spend a super amount on my first one, given that I don't know all that much about the sport yet. Trek Domani, this, like I said, this is the AL model, okay? This is their aluminum frame. They make five tiers in the aluminum frame. Well, essentially there's four. The Damani AL2 in the disc brake format comes with Shimano Claris as its group set with mechanical disc brakes. Then you have the AL3, and I went for the AL3 because I thought it was a good price point. There was a big jump between the AL3 and the AL4. This comes with Shimano Sora, which is nine speed and mechanical uh, disc brakes. Once you jump up to the AL4, it's almost a 25% increase in price but you do get a 10-speed group set in Tiagra and hydraulic disc brakes. And then you have the AL5, the Damani AL5, at the top of the aluminum frame range, and that comes with Shimano 105, which is arguably one of the best value group sets that you can buy in terms of performance, in terms of components, and in terms of how the whole thing just works together. It's probably the best value for money in terms of a group set. So you can get that one at the top of the range with hydraulic disc brakes, 11-speed 105. But it's a big jump, it's a big jump, and in my opinion, the aluminum frame with 105 is just bordering on the price point for a carbon frame with maybe Tiagra on it. So if you can live with 10 speeds over 11 speeds, you still get hydraulic disc brakes, but now you're getting a carbon frame. So 
In my mind, the aluminum AL5 just didn't seem to be worth the money, and that's why I went for the AL3, because I thought it would be a very, very good entry point into the world of road bikes. You get aluminum wheels, aluminum frame, but they've done a nice job overall in you know welding the materials. You don't get these big joints or anything. It does look pretty good. It has those hints of aerodynamic tube shapings. You have a nice, more aerodynamic fork in the front, a chunkier down tube, good shaped top tube, and then your rear stays at the back. And it just, it looked the part, you get the disc brakes. These are 26 millimeter deep, if I'm not mistaken, deep wheels, so they're not really deep, but that is the depth. They're actually fairly wide as well. I think they're a 19 millimeter internal width. So that's fairly progressive, fairly modern in terms of wheel profiles, what you're looking for. Let's just talk a little bit about the tires. So you can see I have these tan sidewalls on here. I've upgraded these. So I did about 4,000 kilometers on, no, 5,000 kilometers on the set of tires that came with the bike. They were a pair of Trek's in-house brand, the Bontrager brand. They were a pair of R1 hard case light tires, but they were 32 millimeters wide. They were great for, for my first set of tires, but as I put the miles on and as I kind of understood a little bit more about road bikes, I knew I wanted something faster. And I knew that if I spent a little bit more money on tires, the value to performance gains that you get on something like tires is outstanding. So I spent a little bit more money on tires. I spent about $80 per tire to get a set of Grand Prix 5000s. These are made by Continental. And I went for a 28 millimeter profile or a 28 millimeter width, I should say. And I absolutely think that that's the way to go. I think if you're looking for a little bit more speed, the 28 millimeter on this Domani is absolutely the way to go. It's wide enough to have a little bit of comfort. It tends to fit the rim quite nicely. There's no giant bubble around the tire and then into the rim profile. So you get a fairly straight aerodynamic profile between the tire and the wheel itself. So that's another thing. And it's just moving with the times. 28 millimeters does seem to be that sweet spot. You can get 25s obviously, but you're looking at 25s on a more out and out race bike. And I think for most people, 28 does seem to be the sweet spot. So. That is something I would highly recommend to anybody. Go out and buy yourself a really good quality pair of um, uh, road bike tires. I would recommend the Grand Prix 5000s in a heartbeat. I did a lot of review videos on them. I watched a lot of content. I read about them. And those were constantly one of the most highly rated tires that you can get. The only other one that was of interest to me was the Pirelli P0 race tires. I would consider trying those ones out. But these Grand Prix 5000s have been absolutely incredible. And again, I would strongly recommend that 20, 28 millimeter width if you have a Damani for yourself and you're looking for that little bit more speed. If you're fine with the comfort, the 32s roll fine, but these are very noticeably quicker than the 32s that came on, my, uh, on the stock bike. So if you do see this red tire at the back, it's just because I have my trainer tire on it for the winter months, so don't worry about that. Again, so the group set is Shimano Sora, okay? So it comes with a compact chain set at the front, you have 54, uh, sorry, 5034 at the front with 170 millimeter cranks because this is a size 52 frame. So you have Shimano Sora, two speeds at the front, nine at the rear, and it came with an 1132 cassette. And because of the amount of kilometers I've done on this thing, I've already changed the cassette and I've changed the chain and I've changed the tires. So when I change the cassette, I don't live in a very hilly area. So I was never in my two lowest gears. I was never in the small chain ring at the front, 34, and I was never in the 32 tooth cassette, and I think the next one was 26. I was never in them. So I decided to go and upgrade to an 1128 cassette, so that my largest sprocket at the back is now 28. So I at least, I'm not really in the 28 very often, but that next, that next sprocket at the back I think is a 24. So I'm in that one a little bit more frequently than I am in my 26 on the original cassette. So because I'm not in a very hilly area, I have an 1128, but it ships with an 1132 nine speed Shimano cassette. Again, I changed the chain as well. When I swapped the cassette, I changed the chain. I had worn that out and that's pretty much it. The components I have, like I said, the Shimano Sora disc brakes. They have 160 millimeter rotors on both the front and the rear, which I'm actually a big fan of. I know that on some out and out race bikes, you get 160s in the front, 140s on the back, and that's kind of just to save weight. Up at the front here, you can see that it's kind of semi-internal cable routing. So I have the cables for 
The components, obviously, it's not a wireless group set, so we have four cables. We have two for the mechanical disc brakes, one for the front and rear, and then obviously one cable is going to the front derailleur, and one is going to the rear, um, the rear derailleur. So it's semi-internal, if you will. They're out at the front, but then they go in through the down tube, which is nice. I like that element of it. It just makes it a little bit more clean. You have your Bontrager blender compatible stem, so I'll tell you a little bit about that. Here, you can see this piece in here. This is the blender system uh, stem feature. So you buy this piece extra, and that fits in between the bar and the stem, and it clips in around the stem, and it allows you to mount two different things. So uh, Bontrager doesn't make a Wahoo mount. So I found this on a 3D printing website. I picked up the mount so that I can mount it to the blender system. And then you can see I have a GoPro mount here. And underneath the Wahoo mount, there's another spot right there so I can have a light. So I can have a camera over here, right here. I can have a light underneath here and the mount right there. So it actually is a nice system, allowing me some versatility to get that, you know, get all the stuff I need mounted to the front of the handlebars and keep a really nice clean setup. Um, and then back to the front, again, we have 160 millimeter rotor here. So nothing, you know, nothing special. Same as the back with the same Bontrager Affinity wheels. The only upgrade, as you can see, is I'm running the Continental Grand Prix 5000s in the 28 millimeter width with the tan sidewalls, which I actually really like. So the stem is a 90 millimeter stem. That's what it shipped with. And you get these compact drop bars and they're 40 millimeters wide. The Shimano Sora levers are quite nice, but they're very small. This is something I've learned you know, just trying out other um, other group sets. The hoods on this Shimano Sora are really small. Now, I'm not a big person, I don't have massive hands, but these hoods are quite small. There's not a big top piece here to grab, so when you're trying to get into that kind of that aerodynamic position, there's not a lot of room for that kind of wrist and forearm area to really tuck down and get your yourself on the hoods. So they're a bit small. I think they would actually be a little bit better if they were a touch larger. It comes with a verse comp saddle made by Bontrager with a fairly large cutout, which I think is pretty good. Um, there are moments where I feel like I would like to try a different saddle, but for the most part, I don't think I'm ever uncomfortable. I have two Bontrager comp water bottle cages here. Okay guys, there you go. We can see we have the bike on the scale. And again, it's not gonna be super lightweight, but taking a look at the scale, we have 10.72 kilograms, which is the same is 23.63 pounds. So again, it's not light, right? It's an aluminum frame and aluminum wheels and that's with pedals, that's with um, with the Wahoo mount and the blender stem here, the integrated piece, as well as the sensors and bottle cages. So it's not gonna be super light, but believe it or not, just changing the tires to these Grand Prix 5000s took off about 300 grams. So when I had the Grand Prix uh, sorry, when I had the stock 32C tires, I was weighing it in at 11.1 .1 or so. So I've taken off three or 400 grams. That is my review of the 2022 Trek Domani. Please let me know what you guys think down below. If you have any questions, shoot them down below. I'll definitely get an answer out to you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get this thing bigger. And that is pretty much it. So Mike McIntyre, all things sports. I'm signing for now. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then, take care.